10 minutes we're packed up it's a late flight it's almost 8 p.m. and we're getting ready to go to the airport in Quito our plane actually doesn't leave until 1240 in the morning and then we fly all night the worst type of flight that there ever was see last time we flew back to the States and then we had to fly into Costa Rica you had to do all this crazy paperwork with the USDA to get your animal approved to come back into the country and it's the same type of approval that we would need to fly him back to Ecuador. Normally we would jump through the hoops, we would do whatever it takes, but it takes a few days because you usually have to ship off paperwork to get it signed and checked off and then they send it back to you and we're only going to be in the States for a few days. So basically if we fly to the States with Frank and we can't get that paperwork done in the two or three days that we're there and we have to fly back, they won't allow Frank back into the country. This could be a huge problem. So obviously we're opting to go without Frank, which is really hard for me. I hate flying. <clears throat> Frank actually helps me a lot on the flights. So I'm probably gonna be a mess. Also, we never really leave Frank no matter where we go. So Kate and David have offered to watch Frank while we're here, which is a huge help and we're extremely grateful for it. But it's still just one of those things that we're gonna worry about the entire time. One thing that's giving me a little comfort is we're parked here outside of our friends, Kate and David's house. So Frank will at least be able to sleep in the van and be somewhere familiar and safe. So it won't be completely foreign to him to have us not be around, but still don't love it. It's not an ideal situation. You have all your toiletries, laptop, camera, drone, everything. I think so. Okay. We gotta load into the car. We gotta get to the airport. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. Okay. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Johnny Rockets isn't exactly the type of place I'd like to eat food right now, but there's Johnny Rockets and Amazonian Cafe. And I need real food. So one of these burgers and probably a little milkshake is gonna have to do. You can justify it all you want. I know you're excited to eat here. <laughs> <laughs> this airport is actually beautiful, super clean, pretty empty, very modern, and I'm really impressed. I haven't seen a Johnny Rockets in a long time. I know Trent is excited for a hamburger. So we have a couple hours to kill. Our plane doesn't leave till midnight. So why not? I don't even know what's good here. Well, they have salad on the back. I know you're craving a salad. You know me well. But I know you also love french fries. I do. <laughs> and I'm gonna get a burger, but I think I'm gonna get onion rings with my burger. Onion rings always sound great in theory, but they're always like soggy and so underwhelming whenever you order them. It's like the most underwhelming thing you can order. You should just get french fries and then we can share them because they come with your burger and I love french fries. Now I'm disappointed with the onion rings. I feel like I warned you. I got three. Three onion rings. Underwhelming, no? Can I call that? French fries are okay. When we got here at 9 o'clock, there was pretty much nobody here. And now this airport is a madhouse. I know, Trent was like, maybe there's no one on our flight and we can spread out. Now it's super full. Cool. I was looking for that, that bump up to business class. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> 
No, no, no. Let's go. <laughs> Allie is trying to buy everything in this. I almost said this mall. It's not a mall, it's an airport. <laughs> we need to get on this plane already. It's time to go. Thank you very much. Thank I hope you, you enjoy your play. You need to spend your machine. Well, we made it. Team B. We made it. We just gotta get on the airplane. And then. Did you scan the wrong one? Oh no, you scanned the right one. I hope I didn't scan the wrong one. Thanks. 20E and 20F. Yay. Uh, hey, how's it going? So this is the first flight that I've been on without Frank in quite some time. I'm pretty nervous. I'm not. I, I just hate flying and I just like, I freak out. I freak out a lot. So this is going to be a rough, a rough trip. Plane number two. Flight one is done. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I have a problem. <laughs> the last plane, I was positive we were gonna crash and die. I just like every plane I get on, I feel like I'm. That's gonna happen. One thing that I feel like has been a huge distraction. Uh, not yeah, distraction for sure. Yeah. But it's just like on every Delta flight, there's like always TVs. Because whenever we fly, we're going like eight hours away from wherever we are. Yeah, that's true. We made it, and I don't know if it's because we're super sleep deprived or because we've just been in Latin America for so long, but Trent just said gracias to everyone as he was getting off the plane. Yeah, the pilot looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> but awesome. we made it! Now we're here. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we left last night at about 8 p.m., made our midnight flight, and flew all the way through the night. We're extremely tired. We slept for about one hour on the floor of the airport by our gate in Atlanta. We just made it to Albany, and we're actually here to meet my entire family. It's the first time that I'll have seen my extended family and my brother even since over a year, I think, at this point. It was just my birthday, so I'm really excited to celebrate with them. And we haven't all actually been together since Trent and I got engaged. So I'm really excited to just see everybody, celebrate with everybody. I really miss my family. And we have another big special event this weekend, which is kind of the main reason that we're here. But I think for right now, we're trying to get set up. Hello. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, we're actually renting a car because we have about an hour drive outside of Albany to get to Hudson or the Hudson Valley. We do have a handful of errands to run now that we're back in the States before we actually go to Hudson. That's why we're renting a car is because Uber would be really expensive to take six or seven different rides to, all, to, run, all of our, to run all of our errands. The first thing that we need to do is send in our broken drone that crashed and have DJI repair it some shampoo and conditioner for my crazy curly hair. And I need to get my hair cut. How's it look? Oh, look at you. So fresh and so clean. Get our computer fixed. If you guys remember back in Costa Rica, like many months ago now, our computers both broke. We could only afford to fix one at the time, so we've had this paperweight sitting in the van for the last three or four months. We're finally gonna get it fixed today. All right, we've gotten pretty much all of our errands done, except we're in New England in the fall. There's one thing I really miss about being here at this time of year, so we have to stop and get some fresh apple cider. Now we're done with errands. Now we just gotta make it to the Airbnb before I pass out. If you guys didn't know, 
I basically took a 45 minute nap on the floor in the airport. Other than that, it's been like 36 hours since I went to bed. You can't even speak. <laughs> I can't speak. We finished up all of our errands, we got to this Airbnb and we absolutely crashed. We did not do great when we're sleep deprived. <laughs> Last night, we basically just got here, unpacked, and went to bed. It was perfect. And now it's actually the next day. We've gotten a little bit of work done. We're trying to take advantage of this quiet downtime before the rest of my entire family gets here. The reason that we're here this weekend is because my cousin Aaron is getting married. I'm so excited. It's the first family wedding in our family, first of the cousins to get married. So it's kind of a big deal. We're all pretty close. We're very excited to be here. So we're just kind of kicking back, relaxing, waiting for the rest of Allie's family to show up. We're gonna greet them. And then actually tomorrow is the wedding. So looking forward to that. This was a major debate between the two of us, whether or not we could justify flying from Ecuador all the way to New York just for a weekend to attend a wedding. And it really comes down to your priorities in life. Long term, yeah, this is an expensive weekend, but we wanted to have the memory of being here for my cousin, seeing my family, and celebrating this special day with them. So we made the journey, halfway across the planet. <gasps> I'm really excited. <laughs> my parents are on their way, my aunts and uncles are on their way. Haven't seen anybody yet, so a few more minutes, they should be here. <laughs> okay, I think there's people here. Seems like for Hello? How are you? You live here? We live here. Yeah, just upstairs. Hello. Oh my god. Hey! hey. We made it. We made it home. We made it back in one piece. And look at your pictures. Alright, Ali, black or brown? That's the question. I think Which, brown. Really? Yeah. Okay. Everybody made it here to the Airbnb. We're all getting ready to go out for the rehearsal dinner. Wedding in 24 hours, and it's so nice to see my family, my brother, my parents, my aunts and uncles. I'm say really. Hi, say hi, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just... <laughs> this is Alex. Hi. <laughs> it's awesome to see everybody, so I'm really glad we made it. We want to thank you guys so much for coming along on this adventure. We will pick you guys up in a couple of days. Like the video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks. See you guys on the next one.